Namaste my dear friends. Welcome to Souls and Chakra and welcome to your reading today. This reading is for those of you who have life path 2. So we're going to take a look at what's happening in October with Tarot as well as look at the energy of the houses, the planets and the suns that will be influencing you in October. And get a message for love and romance from the romance angel and a final message from your ancestors and spirit guides okay so before I start with the reading I just wanted to remind you that if you like this video to please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment as well as subscribe to my channel I'll be so grateful for your support okay so this is a journal reading and it might not resonate with everybody but there might be a message in there somewhere that's meant to find you today okay so i'll see you at your reading so life part two let's see what's happening for you in october got the high priestess the empress and the king of swords The Empress here tells me that this is you, my viewers. I feel like most of you have a young family that you care for, you have responsibilities, and you go above and beyond to provide for your family. And as a life part too, that's who you are, right? Your family means everything to you. And with the High Priestess here, I'm getting is that some of you have been uh, holding this idea, you know, this idea which is still a secret. Only you know and very few people know. And this idea is very close to your heart. This is something that, uh, that you've been carefully planning and giving it a lot of attention okay an idea which is creative or can be a business idea if this is your baby like a mother uh, cares for and you know fusses over a child this is how you feel about this uh, certain project or business idea that you have you know what's going on for you but i feel like this is something that you've been working on for some time but it's still in its early stages yeah But whatever it is, you know, I'm getting it like you've been um, working hard on it, hoping that it will bring in the rewards. Okay? I'm also getting like some of you are like single parents and, and this uh, business is very important for you, you know. You, you want to provide give a good life for your children for your family and you're hoping that this business is going to bring in uh, stability and abundance all right so we have the king of sword here so what I'm getting is that you're gonna have to make some uh, calculated risk and decisions in October you know you have to think more logically than emotionally about this business idea that you have I feel like this is a business I'm getting that you have to step up and be more bold and daring and 
make a very concrete decision about something. So let's see. The Queen of Pentacles. Yes. Some of you have um, Earth in your chart. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So what I'm getting here is like, like I said, you know, you guys have been working on something, you know, you, that uh, which you hope will bring in the rewards for you in the future, and and this could be a business that uh, you know you started from home. It's like a home-based business, and I'm also picking up that some of you are uh, spiritual. Like you are either psychics and clairvoyants and healers, you know, empaths, and you have a home-based business. And this business, you know, although it's still in its early stages, uh, but it means a lot to you. You know, this is very important for you. This is something that you've been planning for a long time. So yeah, you guys are very enterprising and you give attention to detail. You know, you're like the queen of pentacles and it doesn't matter whether you are male or female watching this, but this is the energy that you embody at the moment, okay? You're focused on your work, your money. Yeah, you are, you are the Earth Mother. You care deeply for your family. You want to provide a good life for your family. And you've been working hard on this business to bring in the rewards. Yeah? So let's see. The Five of Pentacles, okay. So what's happening here? So what I sense here is currently <clears throat> there is some financial struggle that you're going through. You know that maybe your business is uh, not making as much money as you hoped for i'm getting that you guys are feeling pretty uh, hopeless about the situation but i'm also sensing that you have control over the situation but just at the moment you know you're not really looking at other opportunities like see there is um, the glass window where the light is shining inside but they're turning their faces away from it. So that's how I feel. Like you guys are not really uh, looking, you know, or cannot find solutions to your problems at the moment. But the Five of Pentacles also means there is change coming. So yeah, you have bills to pay and um, money is tight at the moment. But I feel like in October, you know, you, you're going to be making like some very strong decisions for your business. All right. The Hermit, yes. So with the Hermit here, I'm getting that you guys are going to take time out, you know, to reflect upon this situation about why certain things haven't worked out for you you're going to find solutions and answers to your problem okay you're going to have to do some research like for most of you like this is a solo business like you're on your own and you've been spending a great big deal of time working hard on this project this business you know but things haven't really gone the way that you wanted and in October, you know, there are certain 
decisions, risk that you're going to have to take, but you're going to uh, do it not uh, impulsively, but you're going to rather uh, check the facts, you know, get into details, get, get into the nitty gritty of the business, find the problems, and you'll get the solutions. Okay? You're going to have to think on your feet. And that's the energy of the King of Swords. And this is what you're going to be doing in October. Alright? So let's see. Okay. Uh, five of Swords. Hmm. So, what this tells me is that, you know, there are certain uh, things that you have to let go, okay? Some of the decisions that you make may not uh, make everybody happy, you know, they're, you might have to cut out certain people, even let go of uh, certain people, you know, you might not feel good about it, but it's in the best interest for your business at least okay you're gonna be doing what you feel is right and just for that time And on the other hand, what I'm also getting is that you might be faced with a situation where, you know, um, you know that you're, you're facing a losing battle, okay? But you're going to have to see whether you want to fight this battle or just to leave it, to let go, you know, and walk away. So I feel like you're getting this uh, five of sword means like you know it's like a heads up for you like there is a situation that where you're gonna have some competition or you have adversaries you know who have uh, who have more power you know who have more advantage in that particular situation but you're gonna have to think very coolly and logically and pra be practical about it you know not let your emotions take over okay so if you do that you know you'll be able to get out of this situation without uh, getting into trouble so if you plan carefully ahead you might be able to avoid any losses okay you'll be able to make a wise and smart decision that's going to put your business on the right track. All right, so this five of sword coming up, uh, it means that, you know, this can be avoided. That is, if you do your homework, if you plan ahead, okay? So what is the final outcome and advice? The Three of Wands. So yeah, with the Three of Wands, you're going to be seeing uh, your first signs of progress in your business. That is, if you take the time out to plan carefully, you know, maybe make a business plan, maybe get um, advice from a lawyer or a business consultant so whatever you do you know if you plan carefully and think logically and practically and make a smart decision you know, this is going to help your business grow okay and 
I feel like yes, you will see the first signs of uh, your business growing and expanding. Like it's going to be a small sense of success. All right. You might even uh, collab with people or go into partnership. You know. There's also opportunity for you to travel. So yeah, in October, I see you guys um, going on the right track, you know, putting your business forward. Okay. So one more. The Emperor. So you might be taking advice from your father or a father figure in your life who has more experience under the belt, you know, who's wise. And they can give you uh, good advice regarding how you should do your business or what you should do. So this person can definitely help you move your business forward. And in October, you'll be seeing the first signs of success. Okay. So your past efforts is going to pay off. So just be aware of any situation where there are arguments and fights. I feel like it's better to walk away than to get sucked into the negativity. Okay? It's in your best interest to just let go of that. And think carefully, plan ahead, make right decisions and wait for your ships to come in all right so let's see what are the energy of the houses and the planets and the signs Saturn, the part of you that accepts challenge to gain wisdom. Virgo, the energy around you is dutiful, hesitant and humble with a discriminating, diligent and painstaking air. The second house, your assets, finances and the things that you value. So your second house is in focus and you're going to be feeling the energy of Saturn and Virgo in your second house. Your second house being activated means like your focus is on money, you know, the work that will bring in money. Okay. So in October, you know, there is uh, opportunities for you to make money, but there are also might be uh, instances where you could lose money all right but security and stability is very important for you because you also have virgo and saturn and saturn is a planet of uh, limitations and uh, restrictions all right And Saturn also uh, brings in challenges as lessons to teach you about what is right and what is wrong. It's kind of a test. Yeah. So, so if in the past like you have put in the effort and you've been uh, disciplined and worked hard. Saturn will bring in the rewards, but if you haven't done your work, right, you have procrastinated and uh, you just put up work and you've just been lazy, then Saturn, you know, it teaches you a lesson. And it makes sure that you learn from your mistakes, okay? 
because if we haven't learned in the first time then it will bring in the same um, challenges again and again until you get it right okay so there might be cases where you know it's challenging the times can be challenging but it's meant for you to uh, learn take some lessons from it so that you don't repeat the mistakes again in the future all right So if you um, utilize the energy of Saturn, okay, if you are diligent in your work and you discipline it and you take care of your responsibilities, there is great potential for you to make a lot of money. All right? And uh, be mindful that you don't worry about unnecessary stuff because there might be a tendency for you to overlook uh, important matters you know by worrying too much and being too critical with yourself and with others okay but spirit is calling you to rather focus your energy your time on the details you know to be diligent with your work okay And this is going to help you put your uh, business forward and also come up with more creative ideas. All right. So let's see what are the advice and message you get from the romance angels regarding love. Unrequited love, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. New love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. For some of you, spirits saying that there is a new person in your life, you know, who you find attractive and there is a spark between the two of you, but this is just a, a love that is blossoming, you know, it's the first stage of love and this new person could be the one, okay? I feel like yes for some of you you are just in the courting phase you know you're dating and getting to know each other but uh, spirit says that this relationship could be promising yeah and for others I'm getting that the person you're in love with they are quite not sure about it that they have not returned your affection your feelings is not reciprocated here okay because um, there's not enough attraction or chemistry so what I'm getting here is that some of you were into somebody but they did not quite uh, reciprocate your affection but um, you're moving on yeah Spirit is saying that there is a new love in your life. And I feel like this time around you're more interested in your finances and your career anyways. And for those of you who have found a new love, this could be the one. So you're just going to have to see how it goes. Yeah? Okay, this is all I have for you for love. 
let's get a final message from your ancestors and your spirit guides guardians of the four corners mother in the earth father in the sky angels ancestors sacred ones i call on you and welcome you here and now Mirror Guardian, take time to reflect. The Mirror Guardian, she is a female angel, you know, and she's looking into the mirror. And she's inviting you to reflect upon your strengths. Okay, and to see how far you've come along. So, when you get this card, you know, it's time for you to see like where you are right now you know to reflect on the challenges okay and to accept the gifts that you have to know that you are strong within the mirror represents your core values and beliefs that you put out to the world and which is reflected back to you so you advise is to take into account the challenges you have overcome, the experiences you've had, and the lessons that you've learned from these uh, challenges. So your ancestors, your angels, your spirit guides is advising you to not to be too critical of yourself, to give credit to yourself where it's due, okay? Because when you value yourself, Okay, when you stand for your rights and you accept yourself, then the world will reflect that back to you. You know, others will do the same. Alright? So this is a time for you to spend a bit of time on your own, to introspect, to check with yourself about your journey, how far you've come, and what you need to do ahead, you know, to plan carefully. Okay? So love yourself, you know, give yourself some me time, look after yourself, you know. Because as a life path too, you give too much of yourself to others all the time. Your family, your friends, your community. So your angels are saying like, you've been sacrificing your life, your time for your loved ones, you know, but do you do the same for yourself? So sometimes it's okay to put yourself first. Your angels are saying you're deserving and you need to know that. Okay? So this is all I have for you, life part two. I hope you liked your reading. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And thank you so much for your time. And I hope to connect with you again. Namaste.